Ever wondered how a simple hot dog transforms into a culinary adventure as you cross state lines? Well, stick around as we unravel the diverse and delicious world of hot dogs, one bite at a time across the states. NYC. In New York City, the hot dog reigns supreme in its purest form. Snappy, juicy, nestled in a soft, steamed bun, and slathered in spicy brown mustard. This ain't your backyard barbecue affair. It's a fast-paced symphony of bite-sized bliss devoured on the go. Why the simplicity? History, my friend. 19th century German immigrants brought their love of sausages, and street vendors saw a quick buck in these portable snacks. But with tight streets and bustling crowds, fancy fixings were a recipe for disaster. The popularity? Well, let me tell you, New Yorkers are busy. They hustle, they dream, they grab a dog on the way. It's a fuel for the ambitious, a comfort for the tired, and a taste of the city in every bite. From iconic street carts to corner delis, the New York style hot dog is is a democratic delight enjoyed by everyone from Wall Street suits to bodega regulars. So next time you're in the Big Apple, skip the fancy burger joints and chase down a street vendor. Grab a dog, slather on the mustard, and take a bite. You might just discover the simple magic of the New York-style hot dog, the king of the concrete jungle. Detroit in Detroit, the hot dog isn't just a king, it's a reigning emperor. But this isn't your ketchup and mustard backyard barbecue. This is Coney Island, a hot dog experience as unique and vibrant as the Motor City itself. The Detroit Coney Island is a collection of simple yet perfect elements. A plump, natural casing Vienna-style hot dog, Kiggles is the local favorite, gets nestled in a warm, soft bun. Then comes the magic, a ladle full of that savory, meaty sauce simmered for hours with onions, garlic, and a secret blend of spices. A squiggle of yellow mustard adds a tangy zip, and a sprinkle of diced white onions provides a crisp, fresh counterpoint. Detroit Coney Island is more than just a delicious bite. It's a cultural touchstone, a symbol of blue-collar grit and working-class camaraderie. It's the fuel that keeps the city going, the comfort food that brings families and friends together. New Jersey. The real hot dog showdown is between Trenton and Newark, New Jersey. Each city boasts its own distinct style, and the debate over which reigns supreme is as heated as the chili sauce on these dogs. In Trenton, the star of the show is the tomato sauce. This isn't your average ketchup. It's a sweet and tangy concoction, simmered with onions, peppers, and sometimes even brown sugar. Poured generously over a plump all-beef frank nestled in a toasted poppy seed bun, the Trenton dog is an explosion of flavor. Don't forget the chopped onions and relish for the full experience. Newark, on the other hand, takes a more charred and smoky approach. Here, the hot dog gets grilled to perfection, infused with the flavors of the open flame. It's then topped with chopped pork, mustard, and a special chili sauce that adds a spicy kick. The Newark dog is all about balance, the sweetness of the pork playing against the heat of the chili, all wrapped up in the smoky embrace of the grilled frank. While Trenton and Newark may be the headliners, New Jersey's hot dog scene is rich and diverse. Head down to the shore for a dog smothered in Taylor ham, aka pork roll, or venture inland for a dog topped with sauerkraut and onions. No matter your taste, there's a New Jersey hot dog out there waiting to be discovered. Chicago Chicago, city of broad shoulders, deep dish dreams, and hot dogs so legendary they practically wear fedoras. But this ain't your ballpark fair, folks. We're talking about a meticulously crafted masterpiece, a symphony of taste buds known as the Chicago-style hot dog. The story starts in the late 1800s when German immigrants brought their love of sausages to the Windy City. But this wasn't just any Frank. It was a plump, all-natural Vienna beef masterpiece, bursting with juicy goodness. And and oh, the poppy seed bun. Soft yet sturdy, it's the perfect throne for this flavor king, ready to hold the avalanche of toppings waiting to rain down. Now there's a right way and a wrong way to eat a Chicago dog, but don't worry, we won't judge much. Fork and knives, banished. Grab that bad boy by the middle, tilt your head back, and let the flavor cascade over you. One bite all the way through. It's a messy affair, sure, but hey, that's part of the charm. Devouring a Chicago hot dog is like diving into Lake Michigan on a sunny day, head first into a sea of neon yellow relish, crisp chopped white onions, juicy tomato wedges, and that iconic dill pickle spear standing proud like a lighthouse. And don't forget the sport peppers. 
those little green devils hiding behind their tangy bite, adding a spicy kick that makes your taste buds tango. It's like dragging yourself through the garden, every bite a fresh, crunchy, sweet, and fiery explosion. This ain't just a hot dog, it's a Chicago tradition, a taste of history wrapped in a warm bun. It's a testament to the city's spirit, bold, vibrant, and full of unexpected twists. So grab a napkin, raise your Chicago dog like a trophy, and take a bite. This ain't just a snack, it's an adventure, a delicious journey through the heart and soul of the Windy City, one messy, glorious bite at a time. Washington, D.C. The exact origin of the half-smoke is shrouded in delicious mystery. Some say it's a 50-50 blend of beef and pork smoked just halfway, hence the name. Others whisper of a secret spice blend that gives it its unique kick. Whatever the truth, the half-smoke is a plump, coarse-ground sausage with a snap that rivals a salute on Pennsylvania Avenue. The half-smoke's rise to fame began humbly enough. Local meat packers Briggs & Company first crafted this wonder and it quickly found its way into breakfast sandwiches at Weenie Beanie in Arlington, Virginia. But true DC legend has it entwined with Ben's Chili Bowl, a landmark on U Street since 1958. Here the half-smoke became a symbol of the vibrant black community, its spicy heat reflecting the neighborhood's passionate spirit. The DC half-smoke is more than just a delicious bite, it's a cultural icon. It's the fuel for late-night political debates, the comfort food that brings friends together after a long day, and the taste of a city that's always on the move. Arizona like a prickly pear blooming under the blazing sun, the Sonoran hot dog's origins are complex and delicious. Its lineage traces back to Hermosillo, Mexico, where German-inspired hot dogs met Mexican street food traditions. But in Arizona, this culinary creation evolved, embracing the bold flavors and laid-back vibes of the Southwest. The Sonoran hot dog is a visual stunner. A plump, all-beef frank gets lovingly swaddled in crispy bacon, then grilled to juicy perfection. This isn't a mere accessory. The bacon adds a salty, smoky punch that sets the stage for the flavor fiesta to come. Here's where the Sonoran hot dog truly shines. Forget ketchup and mustard. This party embraces bold, fresh ingredients. We're talking pinto beans, chopped onions, ripe tomatoes, spicy salsa, and creamy mayo. The Sonoran hot dog reigns supreme on Arizona's streets. Hit up taco trucks in Tucson, food carts in Phoenix, or roadside stands across the state. Each vendor adds their own personal touch from pico de gallo variations to cheese sprinkles. So explore, experiment, and find your perfect Sonoran oasis. Rhode Island the New York System hot dog story starts, ironically, in Rhode Island's own backyards. In the early 20th century, Greek immigrants adapted their love for gyros and souvlaki, transforming them into a hot dog experience unlike any other. They simmered ground beef and pork in a secret spiced meat sauce, creating a flavor bomb that would become the heart and soul of this Rhode Island icon. The Rhode Island New York system is a culinary display of simplicity. A plump hot dog, typically Vienna style, gets nestled in a warm steamed bun. Then comes the magic, a generous ladle full of that smoky, savory meat sauce simmered for hours with onions, garlic, and that secret blend of spices that ignites a slow burn on your taste buds. A squiggle of yellow mustard adds a tangy zip, and a sprinkle of chopped onions provides a crisp, fresh counterpoint. Forget ketchup and relish. This is purest perfection. Don't waste your time looking for these gems in New York City. The real deal lives in Rhode Island. Iconic spots like Olneyville New York System Restaurant and EP. Wieners have been serving up these beauties for generations, their red and white checkered floors and vintage neon signs whispering of a bygone era. But don't just stick to the classics. Modern joints like Spike's Junkyard Dogs are putting their own spin on the tradition, offering adventurous toppings and gourmet variations. Texas. In Texas, a hot dog isn't just a lunch break option, it's a chili-infused, artery-clogging celebration. The Texas Chili Cheese Dog is a monument to bold flavors and messy eating, a taste of Lone Star swagger in every bite. Picture this, a plump all-beef frank grilled to juicy perfection nestled in a toasted bun. Then the magic happens. A generous ladle of thick, meaty chili simmered with beans, spices, and enough heat to wake up a sleeping armadillo. Blankets the dog in a fiery embrace. But the party doesn't stop there. A molten river of cheddar cheese cascades over the chili, creating a gooey, glorious mess that begs to be devoured with abandon. Hawaii. 
Now put on your flip-flops and grab your surfboard because we're flying across the Pacific to the Aloha State for a taste of the Hawaiian puka dog. This vibrant fruity twist on the hot dog is as laid back as a hammock under a palm tree, a burst of island flavors in every bite. The puka dog starts with a Polish sausage nestled in a unique hollowed out hot dog bun. This puka or hole allows for an explosion of toppings that wouldn't dare fit in a regular bun. California. LA. Yes, the land of sunshine, surfer dudes, and some of the most unique hot dogs you'll find anywhere. We're talking about the crown jewel of California street food, the LA-style bacon-wrapped danger dog. Forget about ketchup and mustard, this dog is all about the bacon. A succulent all-beef frank gets lovingly swaddled in crispy, smoky bacon, transforming itself into a savory siren song that draws in hungry Angelinos from miles around. The bacon isn't just a decoration. It adds a salty, meaty depth that sets the stage for the flavor fiesta to come. But wait, there's more. This ain't a one-hit wonder. Alongside the bacon, grilled bell peppers and onions get nestled in the warm embrace of the bun. These aren't just your standard toppings. They're charred to perfection, infused with the smoky kiss of the grill, and adding a sweet and crunchy counterpoint to the richness of the bacon and frank. And then there's the jalapeno. This spicy little devil is optional, but for the brave of heart, it adds a fiery kick that awakens your taste buds and sends shivers down your spine in the best way possible. Whether you like it mild or scorching, the jalapeno is the secret weapon that takes the LA-style dog from delicious to legendary. The LA-style danger dog is all about personalization. While the classics, mayo, mustard, and sometimes ketchup are always welcome, Angelinos love to get creative. Think elote-inspired corn and cohia cheese, shredded cabbage for a fresh crunch, or even a drizzle of pineapple salsa for a tropical twist. Don't be afraid to experiment and find your perfect danger dog combination. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you found this content valuable. We'll see you in the next one.